last week I talked about how um the Netflix shows were finally going to come to Disney Plus and that was going to be as of March 1st I believe um but they were going to star right they were going to star and while they were going to star um it wasn't going to come to the US so Canada and everybody else was going to be able to enjoy the Netflix shows, but not us, right? Because Disney Plus right here in the U.S., we don't have uh, the Star uh, uh, Network, which in the Star Network is basically like their off-brand Disney Plus, but it has all the adult content, all the stuff from Fox. They can put all their rated R stuff there, Aliens, Die Hard, all that stuff, right? So now, however, now... Disney finally had the bright idea. And by the way, I don't have the videos, but I know I've said it plenty of times. So if you've been watching these lives, you know I've been saying this for the longest. First, the Netflix shows are moving to Disney. And that's Disney Plus, and that is in the U.S. So shout out for that. That's going to include, you know, Daredevil, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, Iron Fist, Punisher, Defenders, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., all of that is going to be coming to the U.S. as of March 16th. So that is pretty good, um, and that's coming to all of us. But here's the caveat. All U.S. subscribers, okay, are going to be prompted to set parental controls using enhanced content ratings and pin protection. Thank you. Y'all, I've been saying this for literally, I don't know, 8, 9, 10, 15 months. The simplest thing Disney Plus could do is just add parental controls, add a pin, add a code, whatever it is, so that adults can watch things on Disney Plus. Netflix has gotten this. Y'all, almost everybody is copying Netflix already, okay? Netflix has already set the formula on how things should work. What? I mean, y'all, seriously, when you go to Netflix and you get to pick an icon, you get to pick a profile and all that, what did Disney Plus do? You get to pick a profile, pick an icon and all that. Come on, y'all already copying off of Netflix's homework. Just, that was the simplest thing to do. But now you got to sit here and be all extra about it. Oh, so stupid. So, so stupid. So I'm glad that they finally have come to their senses and they are finally going to add parental controls to Disney Plus. So now you can add whatever you want. You can add rated R content. And y'all, I think you need to understand what this means. The fact that they are finally going to add these parental controls means that this is paving the way for something like Deadpool to be a thing. That's right. Now Disney can be like, you know what? We got Deadpool. We're going to keep it rated R. And we are going to go ahead and uh, 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 just all you got to do is make sure your parental controls are set. And boom, Deadpool on Disney Plus. It's a thing. Done deal. That's all it takes, right? Oh, man, I don't know why I can't work for Dex. I need to go work for them with somebody because I'm like, this should have been one of the easiest decisions to make. But how are you feeling about not only these Marvel Netflix shows finally coming to Disney Plus for the U.S., but now we have parental controls um, and this could pave the way for potentially more rated R content. Uh, or mature content on Disney Plus. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'll get to as many comments as I can, but I can't get to all of them. Uh, Eman, what rated R? Uh, what R rated take on a current PG thirteen MCU hero would you want to see? Um, I mean, to be honest, I, I I'll take Moon Knight. You know, like Moon Knight. You know, I mean, we haven't seen Moon Knight yet. Um, but I think Moon Knight would be perfect. Because Moon Knight should be as brutal, if not more brutal, than Daredevil. Because they come in like the same, 
they they're cut from the same thread almost. You know that street level. I'm gonna beat you till my fist turn bloody red. You know what I'm saying? Like I I told y'all the difference between Moon Knight and Batman. Batman will wear black and hide in the shadows because he don't want to see you. He don't want you to see him coming. Moon Knight will wear straight up all white because he wants you to see him coming so he can kill you. He will just beat you to the ground and kill you. Moon Knight is a different kind of cat. So for me, if anybody needed a PG, uh, uh, a rated R, you know, I would say do something with Moon Knight because that brother don't play. He's nuts. He's nuts. I'm trying to tell y'all. So I know they gonna, I know they said they're gonna try and push Moon Knight to the limit and all that, but um, no, no, he's crazy. He's crazy. That that would be one I would say that could definitely do uh very well as uh with rated R. Rated R. Uh Black Widow, thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you. Uh, if Blade is not rated R, then I don't want to see it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I ain't gonna lie, I, I'm still gonna see it, but it is gonna be just a little bit, a little dim. I mean, I, like, I, what are y'all gonna do? I mean, are they just? I don't, know. I don't, I. They gonna have to cut a good ass. They gonna have to cut. They gonna have to cut a really good trailer, a good trailer, to get me out there. Cause I, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm with you, Diane. I'm with you. I am with you 100%. Rated R. Thank you so much for watching. This was just the segment of one of my live chats. And if you're interested in joining in on the next one, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications for more. I've got more videos and reviews to do for you all. And until next time, I'll see you all later.